Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Great Eden run last time, and by great I mean uh, terrifying, but we made it work. Oh god, did Sea Scrolls and the Sun card. Um, SNG909LS. We got good damage. Sun card is good. Oh, we got it. Okay, wait for a second here. We're gonna go around. We're gonna get into that item room. We're gonna pick up HP and we're gonna be fine. Monstro's Lung is awesome, but our rate of fire is trash. This will be very interesting. So I can't use Dead Sea Scrolls. How fun is that? I can't... Can't use Dead Sea Scrolls. Because uh, there's a completely reasonable chance that it will... Oh my god. We almost got hit there. There's a completely reasonable chance that it'll give us Kamikaze. And kill us. I mean, there's a semi-reasonable chance that it'll give us Book of Revelations. And not kill us. And a very, very likely chance that it will just do nothing. We're fine, man. I have never been finer. If the enemies get close to us... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> if the enemies get close to us... Too close to us, we mash the sun card. We mash Q. That's the only thing we need to do. All we need to do is mash Q. Then we get the sun card, kill them all card. Doesn't really rhyme, that's okay. I know we have that bomb, so we can blow up that tinted rock. I'm just, I'm playing a little fast and loose here, which I probably should not be doing. I'm, I'm choosing to exercise my right to finish this here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got a penny, we got a bomb, we're back to full HP. It's so risky. Gotta use the bomb. I mean, I, I love that it's adjacent to the curse room. But we gotta use the bomb. To blow that up. We got two keys out of it. That's real bad, man. That's not good at all. This is a very scary situation. Don't do me dirty like this. Get back, get back. You don't know me like that. I really... Really do not want to have to use... Um... Oh, I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't want to have to use Dead Sea Scrolls. I think we're going to get out of this somewhat amazingly. How is our damage so bad? Our damage and rate of fire are both abysmal. However, just be cool here. Every time you hit the enemy, you make it a little closer to success here. All you have to do... Oh, jeez. Is not get hit twice. That's relatively easy. We've done that many times before. What a fucking interesting and also terrible start. The sun card probably saved us. At least it, it put us in a situation where we could save ourselves. And we did get HP. Holy crap, we are done with that floor. Whether or not it actually gets better, we'll find out. But for right now, it's... Um, it's a bit of a crapshoot, I just have to be honest with you. Hopefully we'll have the ability to get a, uh, a deal with the devil on this floor. All we need to do is not take red heart damage. I mean, it is the basement, so I'm feeling a little bit more confident about that. Oh my god, and we picked up the Hierophant as well. In a way, I kind of feel like this is one of those runs where, you know, we've done the hard part. <laughs> we've already done the hard part, now the game should just give us a win, basically. We survived the puzzle box of the first floor that is, uh... The thing that you always, that's really good, the thing that you're always afraid of when you play as uh, Eden. The low HP, semi-low damage at least, a uh, weird ass start. And here we are, still kicking it. So I kind of feel like we've done the, we've done our necessary, you know, we've eaten our vegetables. Let's put it that way. Now it's time for us to have dessert. So let's pick up like a really high damage item on the deal with the devil and put all this negativity of the, the previous floor behind us. I gotta be honest, like... I actually, I love the fact that we have the Parasite to go along with Monstro's Lung. Make every uh, hit count a little bit more. But also, like, our damage with Monstro's Lung is pretty awful. There is a Tinted Rock. Almost tempted to use Dead Sea Scrolls next to it just to see what we might be able to get. If it's Kamikaze, at least we get something out of it. But at least we're on the basement, so I wouldn't expect to be coming across uh, too many assholes. It was not Kamikaze, it was like Book of Sin gave us a pill. Pill is telepills. Did not cost us our deal with the devil, so as far as I'm concerned, life is still good. Alright. <clears throat> Monstro. We should not be losing two spirit hearts against Monstro, no matter how shitty our situation is. So 
So what we're gonna try to do is wait for him to be vulnerable, then we're gonna get real close. And we're gonna hit him with like a full blast Monstro's Lung Shot. It's, we're gonna treat it kind of like a shotgun, you know, the closer the better. Couple more hits should do it, shouldn't be too tough here. And there we go. Fantastic, okay. Extra speed is not that bad, but it's not that good either, and a Krampus fight, because there is no god. Okay, that comment should go over well in the YouTube comment section now for multiple reasons. Anyway, we're gonna kill Krampus, we're gonna get Lump of Coal, which is actually fantastic. And as a result of that, now we can blow up this tinted rock that's back here, and we can get small rock and be on our merry way. Please, 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 please. Okay, well worth it, if I do say so myself. Obviously, I'm being facetious. Is that a joke, Bobby? Extra money. Almost to the point of making our uh, secret room nearly guaranteed worthwhile. It's probably the way I would describe it. I do love the fact that we have Lump of Coal. I can't deny this. However, I do have to say, still low rate of fire, pretty low damage, and uh, not getting... I mean, that's two Tinted Rocks in a row that have just been, let's be realistic, subpar for us. But Monstro's Lung, Lump of Coal, Parasite is actually looking pretty solid here. Um, we also don't have Deal with the Devil Precedent, which is scary. Can we get here with one bomb? I actually don't think we can. That's, uh, like, hourglass, I guess. I figured we might as well try that to see if we can get it. If there's a bomb in here for sale, I'll buy it. Um, yeah, there's a bomb for sale. Let's buy the key as well. It's not like we're worried about getting an arcade on the next floor. It is an even-numbered floor. Sorry, it's an odd-numbered floor, which means it can't be there. So instead, we'll just come back and, uh, put this here and be on our merry way. Fantastic. What an interesting run. <laughs> We've had a, a lot of good luck. I would not deny this. Lump of Coal and uh, Monster is longer great. And we've had a lot of like truly terrible luck that I'm super not pleased about, but it is what it is. Caves 1. We're not going to use the Emperor card. Actually, we are going to use the Emperor card. We're just going to go into this room and then teleport out. We have a good opportunity to get something happening there. Uh, it didn't pan out the way that I would have wanted, but whatever. We're going to get in here for free. And we're going to pick up uh, maybe a second level orbital or a second first level orbital, depending on what Pestilence pays out with here. We also have a chance at a deal with the devil, at least if I don't get hit again. Let's not get too, uh, you know, cocky here. There's, oh my god, there's still a conceivable chance I could die on this boss fight. I can't stress enough, the fucking Monstro's Lung charge up time is so ridiculous. And if, if, uh, this jerk off hits us with enough creep, it makes it very difficult to get the, to get the jump on him, you know? He can actually pretty much keep us hemmed in here. Oh my god, we may actually die here. I've, I've, Faked out so many freaking charges of Monstro's Lung. We're done. Oh my god, I can't believe that I died. Oh my fucking god. After we had gotten ourselves out of that situation, after the last run, I actually... <laughs> oh, I really thought we were building it back up. Well, you know what? We don't have to do, um, we don't have to do an Eden run in this episode. Let's do some random. Let's try a new character on for size here. Samson, that's fine. Okay, okay. These Eden streaks are punishing, man. There, but let me just say, there is no way, no way I should have died to Pestilence there. That's 100% my own bad. Um, I'm not going to try to defer uh, that loss there. I will just say, man, my rate of fire was way lower than I expected. That's a nasty way to lose that, though. We had a really good potential run coming there, and... Uh, I squandered it. I feel bad about that. I got like a sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach. In a way that almost feels worse than losing the big streak. Because I thought that on the big streak, the writing was on the wall. That one, just one nasty room took me out. Especially after getting the haunt taken care of. Uh, that sucks, man. Oh well. We'll do another run here. And then we'll uh, we'll get our sea legs back underneath us. That's disappointing. I, I Genuinely. I hope you can hear it in my voice. I'm apologetic there. Um, that's... That's real shitty. But it's okay. I mean, since the streak we've had, like, uh, I don't know, what, like a 7 run and an 18 run? That's not particularly bad. 
by old Northern Lion standards, but I was kind of hoping we were past old Northern Lion standards, you know? We were moving on to new Northern Lion standards, the Northern Lion that actually, you know, regularly pops off like decent streaks, but it is it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. We got to get our heads straight before we uh, go off on another streak like that. But that's all right. Two losses in, uh, in relatively fast succession does not necessarily make for a... A lack of uh, entertainment, I hope. And also, it doesn't mean that we've lost a lot of skill. We just need to focus up and not be so silly next time. Let's focus on that. Maybe we'll go back to doing uh, our, like, Isaac Eden random action. That could be fun. But I'll, I'll, I'll ask people on Twitter. I think it will be a convenient day to ask people tomorrow to provide me with um, the way that they would like to see the series continue. But anyway... We had our fun with the Eden Streaks. Maybe I'm not cut out for that jazz just yet. We'll leave that for Cobalt Streak. That's what I get for saying in the last episode, like, hey, <laughs> we're almost, like, we're going to race Cobalt. It'll be fun. But in my head, I was like, oh, we're going to hit at least 90. Like, that's easy. That's just old news. I'm getting a little cocky, maybe, which is not the way that I should be handling this. Because we are Samson, I am going to uh, come into this room right here, and I'm going to blow up this and hopefully get over five cents so that I can actually make it into uh, a chance to get an arcade on the next floor. Fanny pack wouldn't be so bad either. I just don't want to be that mean to our arcade, you know? It's actually been kind to us in the past. It's an old friend and we're gonna say, hey, can I borrow some money? And it's like, yeah, here you go. Here's like four cents. So we'll say, hey, can I borrow some more money? And it says like, I'd rather you didn't. And then we just exploded. What kind of friend would we be if he did that? What kind of friend would we be? What kind of friend would we be? <laughs> it is not really sensible. Anyway, um, we're gonna try to get IV bag here. We got lucky and did get the arcade. And we got blood bag, which is fine. I just wish that maybe it had taken a little longer. Blood bag is good. I mean, it's a passive upgrade and it's HP, but uh, I would have preferred to have just gone a little longer, you know? Oh well. Shit happens. Life happens. It's okay. gonna oh my god did you see that how did he jump over that freaking like pseudo daddy long legs there oh come on now okay this is this is your moment of truth northern line you might have thought it was when you were fighting pestilence but it's not moment of truth is how you deal with a shitty situation not not getting into the shitty situation in the first place so what we are going to do is get a key and then get back into that shop buy a tinted rock until then we're not going to take any damage we're going to stomp on Tinted Rocks. We are going to become Death Destroyer of Worlds, but we are not going to take damage. We are going to create the change we want to see in the world and other such vague platitudes, and we'll be on our merry way here. I was like, we'll just go play the blah blah. We'll play the blah blah. <laughs> we'll play the blood bank a little more, but actually, of course, that's not how that's going to work. I think we got pretty lucky to get out of this. And we do have a Tinted Rock. The Tinted Rock contains Spirit Hearts and Bombs. All is not lost. Okay. Lovely. So we've actually got a nice damage bonus on this floor. We've got another Tinted Rock available as well. It's going to give us Small Rock, which is an incredibly good pickup for us, because we could really use base damage more than Spirit Hearts at this point. I mean, with Stompy, we'd be expecting to have a decent chance to pick up more Spirit Hearts in the future. I really should stop getting so close to these enemies. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll be able to swing it. Um, yeah, we'll keep cracking pots. I know there's more in the last room as well. Got a good chance of getting to 15 cents. 15 cents is an important threshold for us. Free shop item. Well, not free, but a shop item we don't have to blow up our donation machine for. It's a positive thing, of course. Could get the quarter out of one of these as well. Uh, Swallowed Penny also shows up all the time. Is it better than the matchstick? I actually forgot that we had a trinket, so I'm going to stick with the matchstick because I think that's going to be a lot better for us here long and short term. <clears throat> Let's get a move on here. Um, we can get something from our shop. We'll take the long way there through the rocks. We'll buy it. Why not? BFF. I didn't. I just realized now when looking at the item text that it's actually BFFs, not BFF. But anyway, BFFs. I'll try to revise my nomenclature in light of its recent preference. Um, it is... it's useful. It's really good. If we can just get an orbital, then we're sitting pretty. Pin fight, pretty unlikely to pay out with an orbital, but maybe a sacrificial dagger or something from this boss. And we'll be good. Alright, I've already... I've gotten the negativity out from that last uh, streak loss, and I realized, you know, 
Why do we fall down, Mr. Wayne? Uh, it's to get back up. Now I'm dealing with the fact that I got a piece of spinach tied around like the back of my throat here, and I'm, I'm perturbed at this. Box of stuff. Broken Onk, not immediately useful. And hopefully not ever useful. Amnesia, if we're gonna get it, that's the right time. And a too hard deal. It's Little Brimstone, which is not my favorite too hard deal, but I will defend to the death uh, the fact that this is a good cost on this item for sure. I still feel like a, it's a better two hard deal than it is a one hard deal. And hey, if we're gonna teleport to the deal with the devil, that's fine by me in all honesty. This is a, a deal we probably would not have gotten otherwise, and we don't have to fight the enemies that were in that room anyway. And we picked up an easy lump of coal. I'm getting some good uh, positivity, getting some vibes on this run. I'm picking up Samson vibrations. Can start with one HP. Ooh, bop, bop. Samson vibru. Bop, bop. Anyway. We'll keep moving it along here. You like it's a little musical interlude. Let's head down. It looks like we're guppy, but we're not guppy. I assure you, we just have like some, like a chalk outline on our face. We look like Hugh Grant in Cloud Atlas or something like that. And because of BFF, I'm assuming that little Brimstone's packing like a serious punch right now. And I don't think I am assuming incorrectly here. Oh, that was terrible damage. But hey, it's actually kind of refreshing to get a little bit of damage so that I can actually get the damage bonus. I mean, we're going to be looking hard at uh, getting to five cents again on the next floor. Before the next floor. So that we can actually pick up a, another chance at a an arcade. The only time they ever pay out with blood bags is when you want them to pay out with IV bags. It's just it's a statistical fact in Isaac. Um, you know, there's only a few things that are guaranteed in life, death, taxes, and of course the fact that uh, if you ever want the IV bag or the blood bag, the blood bank will give you the opposite, but that's okay. Mysterious liquid, it's fine. I can, uh, I can learn to live with it, I can learn to love it, but I can never learn to respect it. I kid, it's actually, it's a very respectable item. Um, easy room, I really thought a little brimstone would hit the TNT, still some little quirks for me to learn. Full health would be good for the next floor if we manage to make it happen. We are at 8 cents now, so we'd be looking probably not for a uh, deal with the devil on this floor. What might be important, or not important, but nice, is if I can find a way to squander our deal with the devil chance on this floor. And I know that seems ridiculous, but if we can squander our deal with the devil chance on this floor, we don't have to burn a penalty for having gotten one anyway. Like, let me rephrase, because this might seem nonsensical. We already know there's nothing in the deal with the devil because we've been there. But we have a deal with the devil chance here because I haven't taken red heart damage. If it were possible, and it is possible, I mean, we could hurt ourselves to the point where we take red heart damage, then we could make sure we don't get, or at least lower our chances of getting a deal with the devil here, and thus have a better chance of getting a deal with the devil in the future. But I think, honestly, um, there's nothing that we could have really done there to make that happen. We just got good luck in a bad situation. I guess you don't always want good luck. Okay. Ten cents. That's more than the magic number required to spawn an arcade, so I hope the arcade gods are smiling down upon us today. Every spirit heart counts, there's no question about that. And I was terrible damage, but at the same time, I'm really happy with where we're at. And we also got a crawl space just prior to the boss fight. We'll probably have to fight that room again because I'm uh, very silly. But anyway, Spider Bite was well worth it one way or the other, even if we didn't have to go through that in the first place. Get a little brimstone charged up because I have a feeling it is going to be uh, pretty necessary as we go back to this room. Oh no, they already uh, counted as dead. Lucky me. All right, Dark One. Spider Bite is so good. Little Brimstone is really holding it down for us, too. And there's an example, you know, we probably would have had a better chance of getting... Uh, ooh, beautiful. We probably would have had a better chance of getting that deal with the devil if we just squandered our deal with the devil on the last floor. But it is what it is, you know, there's not much we can do about it. I don't think we really want anything in there. Although we don't have a space bar item, but I'm hoping to rectify that on this floor with an IV bag pickup if we get so lucky. That's another uh, tinted rock down here. We had a feeling it might pay out with exactly what it did pay out with. Be on our merry way here. Nothing in there. And a curse room that is not really speaking my language right now, but at the same time, I think I've got to try to go for it. Uh, because we have enough HP that it's not bad, but I'm 
Oh, I was pessimistic and it ended up showing me I shouldn't be pessimistic. We picked up two spirit hearts and an HP upgrade out of that. Definitely paying for this room. Now give me the opportunity to turn those HP upgrades into uh, delicious, delicious money and damage with the IV bag and we'll be... We'll be copacetic, game. Until then... You know, we gotta do what we gotta do. Tower card is not worth anything. The lover's card is, which is why I'm holding on to it. I've got the, you know, the hope against hope that we end up getting an arcade here. But I'm getting less and less optimistic as time goes on. Ah, uh, I thought we'd make it through there. That's all right. That's our item room. So we got no arcade on this floor. At least our damage is, uh, you know, doing all right. So we can definitely survive another two floors for our next chance. And piggy bank will be helpful when it shows up, um, or when the when the blood bank shows up. I mean. Okay, uh, I guess, honestly, we probably just go on our way here. We'll look for the second, eh, we'll look for both kinds of secret rooms. Especially now that we know it's not there. We actually should be able to bomb our way into the boss trap room now that I take a little bit more of a uh, good look at this. Second guess myself, turns out it was placed relatively perfectly. Oh, right, we can't do that. <laughs> we can still do this, but we got to be careful because, Ooh, do we want that? Gotta be careful because uh, we can walk on the mushrooms very easily. Not that taking damage would be the end of the world, but you get the idea. I think that went relatively well. Kick our bomb back here. We will open this because I feel like it's kind of like in our best interest to do so. And then we'll just go to town here. I mean, it's a really good sign that Mega Fatty is not that bad for us. It's like when you order something really big at a restaurant, you're like, you know, you ask the waiter, you're like, ah, oh, you know. Huevos Rancheros, that sounds like a pretty big breakfast, is it? And they go, well, you know, you better be hungry if you're going to have it. And then uh, you go, well, I'm not that hungry. No, I had like a huge dinner last night. I, you know, had a granola bar before I left the house, but you order it anyway. And then halfway through, you're like, oh, this is a good idea. Yeah, even though we didn't get anything huge on that room, that room was a good idea. Ended up working out pretty nicely for us. And uh, we got some other stuff in the meantime as well. Hopefully like an Ultra Pride. This is not... Ultra Pride. I didn't even want Ultra Pride. I want Super Pride. But either way. Emperor beats the Lover's card. Um, how the heck are we going to use it? It's a very good question. I will just relax for now. And we'll try to use it. That's so good. We'll try to use it on the, uh, on the womb or beyond, I suppose. All right. Let's head downwards. Samson seems like a really easy win now, given the amount of HP you start with and the, the advantages as well. But it certainly doesn't hurt to get all sorts of damage upgrades and great tier effects as well along with it. I'll give you that. Oh my god, he is FTL, dog, Faster than Larry Jr. Uh, I've got to be honest with you, I felt like my jokes have not really been on point today. But I like that one for some, you know, over-the-top absurdity uh, improv. I like it. Oh, that was so beautiful as well. We will, why, why not crack skulls down here? Fool card. It's not as good as the Emperor card, in case you didn't notice. Um, but we'll hold on to it for now, because isn't there like... I thought there was a mob trap room down here. Instead, it is not a mob trap room. It is a boss fight where we got the chariot card. Well, what we can do is go into the mob trap room that was directly above where we were. You silly. And then uh, we'll pick up our bombs. And then I accidentally picked up the Emperor instead of the Fool. And I am not about to burn the Emperor here. Instead, we will just fight this room because I expect it to be relatively easy. But I could have gotten out of, out of it with the Fool card, and you know it. And that's almost enough for me. Intellectually speaking. Oh, careful. Okay, good stuff. Leave the penny. Well, not leave the penny. You know what I mean. I don't think we need the fool card. I mean, by leave the penny, I mean obviously take the penny. Brain's in a weird state. I didn't get much sleep last night. I did that thing where I went to bed late, then I woke up at like 7, and my brain was like... You know, gray skies are gonna clear up, put on a happy face, and I was like, oh, that's... <laughs> I got up and I like went about my day, it wasn't until two hours later that I realized, oh, I'm actually like legally brain dead. I should be asleep, and my brain is punishing me. Not that I'm blaming uh, that mental state for the, the loss that happened earlier in this run. That one is, is squarely on my own complete idiocy when it came to fighting the pestilence there. I had no business taking one hit there, much less, uh, you know, five or something ridiculous like that. But shit happens, man. Again, you just got to live with it. A piece of paper is your guide. Two of hearts. Probably should not have done that. 
Emperor. I think it's still what we stick with. Like, I don't really see any reason to deviate from the norm right now. We can all, we still haven't used this, but we can use it in the future. 671, good place for our donation machine. Hopefully, wink, wink, we find a blood bank on the next floor so we can actually um, get some money and donate a little bit more. See, it's not about the IV bag anymore. Just selflessly, I would like some extra money to help you out, game. Hopefully, also, we get a deal with the devil here, but even if we don't, we've fought the Fallen. This, to use the Huevos Rancheros analogy, is like if you were walking to the store that sold Huevos Rancheros, you wanted Huevos Rancheros, and at the exact moment that you went uh, to the Huevos Rancheros store, there was a person outside who said, hey, do you like Huevos Rancheros? And you said, yes. And then they said, oh, sweet. Have a free sample of Huevos Rancheros. And then you did. This was a great deal with the devil. Uh, can't deny that. We got the nail, obviously, and then we got um, Dark Bum and Abaddon and Nine Lives. So really, each one of those carried a huge benefit with it. Dark Bum, no way we're not picking it up. Such a huge help for us and, and really locks in like a guaranteed win here, I think. Abaddon, huge damage upgrade. We're going to lose our HP anyway. So I figured why don't we... Uh, take nine lives first. Nine lives also makes you lose your HP anyway, but because we already had the... Uh, we were already going to lose our HP because of Abaddon, it didn't really matter. It's like we got two penalties for the cost of one penalty, which is fantastic as far as I'm concerned. We're going to come down here. I know I'm not giving Dark Bum uh, an adequate chance here, but we're also at full HP and we have the nail, so you'll forgive me, I think. Dead Sea Scrolls, fine, I'll take Soy Milk. Why am I going to take soy milk? Because I have all these other advantages working out for me. And it's a special item, and... Why the heck not, I suppose? If we get to... We already have hive mind, so if we get... Oh my god, I can't believe that was ghost baby. Not that that's that amazing, but... If we get, um... Guppy, we're going to be in a fantastic situation. Apart from that... Uh, we're just going to keep moving it along here. I don't think soy milk is going to be the kiss of death for us, to be honest with you. We actually are pretty much right on time for boss rush as well, so we might have to use our Emperor card for that. We'll see. Uh, not that I necessarily want to, but with soy milk, there's a lot of cool synergies that, well, you might call them cool or you might call them like borderline necessary for success. One of them is a uh, lump of coal. So the fact that we already have a lump of coal is a huge help, I think. Also, the nail with the damage upgrade. It's nothing to sneeze at. Please don't create hosts on my watch. Ideally, honestly, like Tiny Planet, man. Give me Tiny Planet. Let me go full absurdity. Money equals power is also awesome. And just, like, further proof that if we could get the fucking IV bag, we'd be in heaven right now. But, of course, now that we've gotten this, I think it's, like, less likely that we actually get IV bag. Just because it, it would be too perfect... And the game doesn't always do too perfect. Sometimes it does, but we, we shouldn't bank on it, I think. And we also don't want to buy anything, nor do I want to donate, because the damage upgrades are going to be integral for us here. Now, this is the whole reason we pick up items like soy milk, is so that we can... Um, so that we can uh, get these cool synergies. And honestly, money equals power is a great one to go along with it. I can't say enough about the help that uh, Little Brimstone BFF has given me on this run as well. Really a huge helper. Um, I don't really want to do this yet because we haven't been to our item room. I also haven't seen if there is an arcade. Didn't want to do that. That's all right. Oh, no, we have been to our item room. We gave us money equals power, of course. We still haven't seen if there's an arcade, though, and it would be worth giving up the nail. So check this out. Why do that? because we get one extra penny out of it that allows us, hilariously enough, to uh, get some more money. And you might be saying, okay, well, I get the idea. Why are you still doing it? Well, that's because there's a spirit heart on the other room. Money equals power allows us to... Uh, oh, okay, that one was dumb. <laughs> but money equals power allows us to do that, so we're uh, gaining a little bit more money in the process. Not much. Let's be real. It's not very much, but uh, the damage is nice. There is a curse room. Oh, I should have looked to see if there was an arcade. There is a tinted rock another spirit heart on it red chest not red chest so I'm not gonna do it we will go to our curse room though I should be using the nail there's really not a good reason not to I thought this was our curse room so we're probably kissing goodbye to the idea of a um, 
of a boss rush right now, and that's a-okay. I'm just, I'm happy to be playing as a different character, getting some, uh, you know, wind under my sails, getting some new momentum after these Eden streaks. I wouldn't say they kicked my ass, but, you know, we haven't been building up fantastic ones. Now is the age-old question, was there an arcade? Do we have a chance? I'm starting to think the answer is probably no. Oh my god, it came true. Do we really want to play the arcade with no red hearts? It's another dangerous question. Joker. Actually, okay. I don't know why I was so worked up. My head's in another place. I was asking about uh, the arcade. We don't really want the arcade. What we can do is very quickly steal uh, the boss rush item. It won't let us keep the Joker card, but our choice of four items and then maybe getting a Joker card later might be worth more. We gotta get in there a little faster than this, though, please. Thank you. Okay, let's do it. A little bit more. A little bit more. We can make this happen. Okay, let's quickly take this. Get in, get in, get in. Um, we will take the Halo. Yes, we will take the Halo. And then we will use the Emperor card to get out, and then we'll see what we got in here. And it's Book of Belial, and... I'm gonna take it, so that we can get permanent Polaroid Invincibility. It's a little bit of a risk, but I took it for permanent Polaroid Invincibility. Obviously, we're already getting deals with the Devil. Also, the fact that we can actually use the Book of Belial to do extra damage is, a, you know, an added bonus in and of itself. That's okay, though. Use Book of Balao when we consider it appropriate. I mean, this should be a pretty automatic win at this point. Even if we don't become Guppy, which is, of course, my long-distant dream because we have uh, Hive Mind and Soy Milk, this should still be a pretty easy get for us, and I'm pretty excited about the possible permutations. Here we got Infamy. Ooh, careful. Um, Dark Bomb. Dark Bomb BFF, of course. Just a huge coup for us. Telepills could be great, actually. I think that might have taken me a lot closer to the boss than I otherwise would have been. And here's where the invincibility comes in, hoping that the invincibility counters the uh, incredible loss of spirit hearts that we would probably expect as a result of uh, me being an idiot. We should go back for that money, because it's money equals power. We do still have Dark Bomb as well, so we'd be expecting, like, Dark Bomb payouts. Is Little Brimstone's charge rate affected by anything? Because he seems like he's charging like crazy right now. Maybe soy milk being a special item has something to do with it? I sort of doubt it, though. And there is a Tinted Rock over there. I can't take advantage of it, but that's okay. And let's get, uh, let's get on our merry way here. Guaranteed deal with the Devil. Guaranteed pretty easy fight, probably. Forgot we have uh, sad bombs as well, which we can really use on the chest for good effect. So this is actually a great room to have uh, Dark Bomb on, and he should be able to chain through those hearts and allow me, thank you for finishing on that one, to just walk out. Hopefully we'll get some nice little friendly uh, spiders, but mo mostly it's uh, black hearts and spirit hearts I would love to get. Even though we have Hive Mind, uh, it's for the best. In using Book of Belial, we accidentally almost killed Teratoma. <laughs> That's an unintended consequence. That's like going to the Huevos Rancheros restaurant and it's all you can eat day, but you ate so many Huevos Rancheros you almost put the place out of business, you dirty dog. I was really, really hoping for, um, for that to be another cat piece in there. But we're almost there. I had to take it to try for it. Hopefully we'll get a cursor and we can make it happen. Okie dokie. Oh, that is infamy saving my life. And then my incredible amount of speed causing me to take damage right afterwards. That's okay, it happens. That is not money, but it's it's sweet, sweet nectar as far as I'm concerned. Thank you for that. Puberty is not uh, a big problem at all. I'm hoping for the money and the red hearts. Get the best of both worlds. You get a payout? No. But we did get a little bit of extra cash that we can use in order to get a little bit of extra damage. And that damage is multiplied, you know, incredibly by the soy milk shots that we're firing. What's your favorite slang for cash? Okay, let's start from like least favorite. F tier, definitely like moolah. It's just awkward to say, oh, you got some moolah there. Um, I'm trying to think like, dosh is kind of like UK's version of moolah or something like that. It just doesn't feel right way coming out of my mouth, but that might be a regional difference, you know? It's like I wouldn't rank Hangus very high on my tier list of brown foods. That doesn't mean it's bad. I'm just a little bit uh, not not privy to it, if you know what I mean. Um, what have we done? What have we done? Okay. 
Uh, not the best use of a key, I would say. <laughs> the game still surprises me sometimes, which is amazing. Um, let's get into, like, D tier. D tier, Smackers. I think Smackers... Oh, I actually really do want that. I think Smackers... Oh, no, we've got... Tammy's head sucks for us because we have uh, soy milk. Um, Smackers succeeds because it's so bad. Like, hey, give me, like, ten Smackers. It sounds like you're, like, in a local theater revival of, like, Guys and Dolls or something like that. Bones? I think Bones, you gotta get into the, the B tier for that one. That's pretty good. Like, give me 20 Bones. That sounds pretty good. And also, controversially, I'm gonna put Bucks down there. Bucks does what it does. People like it, but it has no style. Uh, a tier, the actual name of the currency. Dollars, pounds, euro. Um, I think that that is definitely where those items exist. When you get into S tier, what's an S tier name for cash? I'm starting to I'm starting to draw a blank here. I've already used them all. I've I've exhausted the joke. I I might go back for bones, man. I think bones is my preferred money. It's my preferred nomenclature for money cuz I am a a 1980s drug dealer apparently. I'm going to try this cuz we need to give ourselves the best chance possible to become a guppy. Of course we could have uh not taken damage by using the fool card, but I'm not really intending on using the Fool card strategically at this point in my life. And if you can't handle that, then you don't deserve me at my friends. But anyway, got these. At some point, I would very much like to find our boss. And then we can move on to the Cathedral. If we are, I think we've already been to the right here. Oh, no, we haven't. Okay. Dude, Curse of the Lost is like, if you gave me every... If you give me Curse of the Lost on every single floor, I don't think I would be able to find the exit ever. And I would just be trapped. Like, if that's... If you really got it out for me, that's how you do it, man. Well, we haven't seen Northern Line in weeks. Where is he? Oh, he's still trying to finish that Rebirth run. He's on the caves, too. Curse of the Lost is really fucking with him. It's just like, it's my kryptonite, man. Alright, there we go. Pop Book of Belial. I'm just... I'm still waiting on that... Fringe possibility of a guppy pickup, man. Make it happen on the cathedral. The cancer pickup, by the way, I'm assuming it works with soy milk. We're doing a ton of damage. Not all of that is little brimstone. Some of that is soy milk lump of coal. Uh, Book of Belial, which I really appreciate. Can't really see where we're going. That's all right. Can live with it regardless. Don't really want anything to do with that key. That's a toxic key. If you pick it up, you get no more keys for the rest of the floor. Well, if you're going to make me try it, I guess I'll try it. But don't blame me if, uh, if it doesn't work out. And if it does work out, it's just the power of positive thinking is my philosophy on that one. All right. I am a little scared of these guys because it takes, like, still 15 shots to kill them, which I'm not necessarily an enormous fan of. Uh, even though 15 shots do come out in like a quarter of a second for my face. Like every second. Um, we gotta... We gotta pick up like a little bit more bombasticness on the chest, man. I'm still thinking Tiny Planet is like what takes this run into full-on like insanity territory. I'm, do you hear me, game? I'm actively asking you for Tiny Planet. Bring it. I'm ready. I'm taunting you. I'm saying you can't beat me even if you do give me Tiny Planet. It also wouldn't be the worst if you gave me like Death's Touch at the same time. But if I can only pick one, I would actually pick Tiny Planet because I want it to be crazy. I want it to be zany. I want it to, uh, to I want to grow up to be a debaser. I w <laughs> I'm actually proud that I was able to slip in that reference uh, improv wise. I, <laughs> I keep referencing uh, Lee Greenwood's smash hit. Well, I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. And Bear was like, you know, you can make fun of that song all you want, and I did. Not that there's, you know, it's, it's great that you have a patriotic song for that in America. One of them, anyway. I just, I find it a little cheesy, and since I'm not from the country, it doesn't carry the same kind of gravitas it probably does for other people. Anyway, um, and of course, it's been uh, it's been there as a, a crutch to lean on during emotional moments in the country's history. I'm not denying that. You got a spirit art for me? Sweet. Let's re-roll that into something else. So what do we have here? We got Lord of the Flies, Ipecac, a range upgrade, and some kind of mapping ability. Maybe the mind. We should be fine here. 
I rerolled my run because I always reroll my run. Shots are so small. They're also so freaking fast. It's a shame that we only got spiders once we'd already gotten rid of Hive Mind, but hey, them's the breaks, I guess. Um, do we have the mulligan, or is that just Lord of the Flies giving us these flies? It's kind of hard to tell. In either case, the fact that we have so many freaking spiders is just incredibly useful. But anyway, in continuing my story, Bear was like, is there like a Canadian version of Proud to be an American? And I'm like, well, not really, honestly. Like, we have O Canada, but it probably really does come down to like, um... The existence of Rush. Like, Canada, as Canadians, we take moments... Or we take pride in our artists that do very well overseas, even if they're not necessarily considered the most artistic artists. Like, uh, like even Justin Bieber, I gotta admit, it's not my kind of music. It's not made for me either, so I'm not even like, oh, you know, oh, this Justin Bieber kid's making millions of dollars and I'm not even listening to him. What, how's that work? But anyway, um, it's more like, I, I have a begrudging sense of, of personal pride being like, yeah. He's from Markham, or like Burlington or something. I'm like, yeah, good old Markham boy, making it big. I still got that a little bit, you know. Avril Lavigne, good old uh, Napanee girl making it big. And I recognize that there's some psychosis involved there. Um, yeah, we'll take that. I, I mean that sincerely, like that is not a rational way to think, but it is something that I almost think is is bred into the Canadian cultural identity. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling back the veil here and I'm being honest with you. Um, it's, it's weird, but we have an incredible amount of encyclopedic knowledge over who in who is and who isn't Canadian. If you ask any Canadian, you know, to name some famous Canadians, you're gonna be there for a while, and it's always more people than you expect, because the default country for people to be from, people always assume, you know, if you're white and you speak English with a, a non-UK accent or like South African accent or Australian accent, um, they always assume that you're from the United States, which is fine, it's an incredibly large country. Oh, we got rubber cement. Most of the time you make that assumption, you are absolutely going to be right, but we got the encyclopedic knowledge to get us into encyclopedic college, man. Trailer Park Boys, obviously Canadian. Wow, that was a ton of damage really quickly. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal, and of course, uh, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.